Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Let's play a game together. I know it's a bit impractical, but let's give it a try. The name of the game is Guess the Word. Here we go. All you need all that you need to do is to guess which word I am thinking of right now. Yes, you heard it right. Just guess the word that I am thinking of now. Are you thinking of God? Well, you're wrong. New year, wrong again. Resolution, cross, celebration, chocolate, Christmas. Well, sad to say, all the guesses turned out to be wrong. The right answer, the word that I am thinking of right now is keychain. Did anyone get it right? I doubt. If you ask me, why was I thinking of keychain? I'll say, well, just simply and no reason. It would have taken you a very long time to guess that word. And probably, you would even have never guessed that word. Not that it was too difficult or something abstract but simply because there is almost no other way you can think of the word that I have in mind unless I myself tell it to you. The point is, the word that was thought will be only known if it is revealed, is it not? Now let's take this concept of guessing the word to the divine realm. Human beings at every point of time, in every civilization, every culture have sought to know and establish a link and relationship with the divine, to know what is the mind of the divine, to guess what is the plan of the Almighty, to discern what is the thought of the supernatural. Some philosophers sought to crack this code by drawing out many theories. Some sages and prophets spent time in deep contemplation and wrote many literatures. Some noble thinkers dedicated their entire lives to put forward doctrines and teachings. Some of these we call it as religions, some as a way of life, some philosophies of life. But none of them were able to know and discern the divine clearly. It was just as we played guessing the word game. Many guesses were attempted, some were close, yet none were fully right. The word in the mind of the divine would be known only if it is revealed. And that spectacular instant of revelation is what we call as incarnation of the word. The divine historic moment when the Almighty revealed his word is called incarnation. We read in today's gospel, and the word became flesh. The word in the mind of God took human form in Jesus. Jesus is the visible, the revealed, and the manifested word of God. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God the Son. Jesus is the word made flesh. Jesus is God in human flesh. What is the impact of this most unique and most spectacular event of history. Humanity, which had strayed, has found another chance to be reunited. Human beings steeped in sin were provided with an opportunity to be redeemed. Humanity is empowered not with abstract human teachings, but by the divine person. This is what makes Christianity different from all other ways of life or religion. This is what makes Christianity unique among all the philosophies of life. It is utter absurdity for philosophers for the infinite to become finite. It is purely mythical for the naturalist, for the transcendent to be understood. It is totally unscientific for the rationalist, for the fullness to be reduced to limitedness. But this is the truth. This is reality. In incarnation, the God of love was now wrapped in human flesh. The almightiness of God moved in a human arm. 
The love of God now beat in a human heart. The wisdom of God now spoke from human lips. The mercy of God reached forth from human hands. You and I are the beneficiaries of knowing the answer of this game, guessing the word which humanity was engaged with the divine for centuries. Jesus is the answer. And Jesus can be the answer to all the problems and difficulties of our lives. Have we allowed him, Jesus, the word, to take flesh in ourselves? Have we permitted him, Jesus, the word, to have an impact in our lifestyle? Have we consented him to become the totality of our lives? We are on the last day of the year and at the threshold of yet another new year. The year 2021, which had a lot of promises, went through a lot of rough weather. At the same time, we look at the many protective moments of the Lord and thank Him. As we thank the Lord for the gift of this year, with its ups and downs, with its learnings and experiences, with its joyful events and sad moments, let us also realize that there can be no spectacular resolve, there can be no greater discovery, there can be no better resolution, there can be no higher decision than to allow Jesus, the Word, to take firm and absolute control of our lives. Are we ready to usher in the new year with Jesus, the Word, taking complete flesh in us? Yes, He is the only way, the only truth and the only life. Jesus, the Word revealed and made flesh. Thank you, Lord, for the year that has gone by. We seek to be holier and belonging to you more in this new year. Happy New Year. Let us pray. God our Father, give us your grace that we may be open to your word. Lord Jesus, help us to do the Father's will just as you did. Holy Spirit, be our comforter and counsellor and lead us on our way. Amen. Thank you for joining us on The Daily Word. Until next time, be cheerful, filled with hope and peace. God bless.